It's the Night Show with Ryan Roberts. The blazing sunset in your eye will tantalize every man who looks your way. I watch them sink before your gaze, senorita sway, dance with me before their frozen eyes. I'm so much in love, like the little boy who races the wind No man loves like I love you Wouldn't you like to love me too In the heat of the morning In the shadow I'll clip your wings And I'll tell you I love you in the heat of the morning I'll tie a knot in rainbow's end Organize the breeze Light my candle from the sun I'll give you daylight for a friend I'll do all of these I'll prove that it can be done I'm so much in love Like the ragged soldier catching butterflies No man loves like I love you Wouldn't you like to love me? In the heat of the morning In the shadow I'll clip your wings And I'll tell you I love you In the heat of the morning Yeah! Excellent. Awesome. Miss this guy. Mike Missed Leonard. Him. Thank you. Thank you Thank for coming you. back, my friend. Thank you for having me. Back. One of our uh, very first musical guests, our second musical guest. Second show, I think. Second show, second yep. musical guest, uh, musician. Mike Leonard, thanks for coming back, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you for and having me. With me, as always, my illustrious producer, Jim Lauber III. How are we doing, Jim? Good. I bought the uh, Rush Hour Trilogy on Blu ray today. Why do you always tell me these? You could have told me this hours ago. You could have told me an hour ago. You could have told me two hours ago. No, you wait for the show to drop these tidbits of useless information that I really just don't care about. So to. Rush Hour, huh? Rush Hour, the entire trilogy. Oh, wow. Really? Wow. No, Chris Tucker. You got burnable income, huh? <laughs> hey, I do have something important, though. What do you have? April Foolishness. It's April 14th at uh -huh. the Space Ballroom in Hamden. Right. Tickets are 12 bucks. Tickets are on WPLR.com. Please go get your tickets. They're not that much money. Not 12 um, bucks. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. So, um, Mike, my musical guest today, great great tune, man. Thank you. Great tune. That was a very early David Bowie song, for those of you who are unfamiliar with it. Um, it's called uh, Heat of the Morning. I would say it's a little hard to find on an album per se. You might find it in more of a like a live like a, out, a live release, like one of those live release from Japan. Yeah, it'd be or like something. a rare, yeah, yeah, you know, some obscure thing to get. But it was always one of my favorites for for him for sure. So I was wondering. Um, I knew that you were going to be on today, and I was thinking to myself, how does one find out that they are good at singing? 
different styles and different voices. Did you just walk around your house as a kid going, <laughs> like, because you do a lot of different styles. Obviously, you have your own voice. Yeah. So how does one go about finding out that, hey, I can sing like David Bowie? Um, Did always, you torture your parents? Yeah. That's what I'm asking. <laughs> I was told to stop a few times, yes. But um, for the most part, I would definitely... Uh, just walk around and mimic things that I hear, noises, as stupid as they were, cartoons even, and try to, you know. Do you have a cartoon voice that you can do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I, he's, he's, oh, I grew up doing the same exact thing when I started getting into doing voices yeah. and skit comedy and stuff like that. So I, I totally understand that. I always wanted to maybe, you know, try to do voiceover stuff someday and hopefully, you know. Use my radio voice or, you know, something to do commercials or anything. Just uh, You do have a good radio where voice. Where I can just kind of, you know, talk like any kind of thing you want. <laughs> That's exactly what they tell you to not yeah. do when yeah. you're right? starting radio. Don't talk like the typical radio dude that you think that you should be. So, uh, yeah. I also know that you do a very good um, Neil Young. I do, yeah. I'm huge Neil Young fan, mostly because of my dad growing up, um, but because of that, he's been a big influence in my life, one of the reasons I started playing guitar too, you know, and he was the first voice, I guess I could figure that I found out that I can do, was Neil. Mm -hmm. So, Do you have a Neil Young song prepared for us today? Uh, yeah, definitely, you can do one. Mike <laughs> Leonard, everybody. Grab the old harmonica. You can't do Neil without that. The old harmonica. I want to learn. You can't so do Bob Dylan. Can you do a Bob Dylan voice? I can. Yeah. I, I'll, I would you rather? No, no. Let's do Neil Young. I don't need the whole <laughs> we'll Bob do, Dylan we'll... song. All 15 minutes of any, <laughs> of any Bob Dylan song. I just uh, I was just curious. Right. I love that harmonica. Neil Young song called Southern Pacific. It's on uh, the album Reactor, which came out mid '80s. But it was always very cool, and he did a few versions that were acoustic. So if you were lucky enough to download a bootleg, <laughs> we got a lot of Neil Young fans here. Trust me. Oh yeah, we do.
fluctuating audio issues here. I don't know exactly. There we go. I don't know what was going on. This is a very uh, different studio that we're working with, so uh, please bear with us. If you are just joining us, it's The Night Show Live. I'm Ryan Roberts. My guest tonight, musician Mike Leonard. As you can tell, we've moved from 8 p.m. to prime time, drive time, 5 p.m. So uh, thank you, everyone uh, that joined us today. With me, as always, my illustrious producer, Jim Lauber III, and his hair. Who's out there today, Jim? Who we got out there? I was just actually on uh, Mike's Musical Morning page, but uh, we got Carmen Bendino, we got Chris Ruggiero, Brian Alexander, Brian C., Paul Krish, Liz Rutolo's out there somewhere, I just saw her. Can you tell my voice is garbage today? Is it? Oh, yeah, I don't It's got to be that back and forth <clears throat> weather. I don't know what it is. It's ridiculous. Unbelievable. But, uh, hey, Carmen Vendina, she said, I stayed at work just to watch the show. Oh, wow. If we had t-shirts, I would send her one for that. I know. Right? Thank you very much, Carmen. We appreciate that. We appreciate all of our aristocrats joining us this evening. And um, Mike Leonard, you can check him out on Facebook. What's your Facebook page, Mike? I've actually got a little Mike's Musical Morning Show. Which I've so, seen a couple times. Um, what do you do you, on that? You could tune in. Uh, most of the time, I'm wearing my robe. <laughs> Starting first thing in the morning. And I uh, take requests, pop out a few songs, you know, set the mood for the day, and give you a little something good to hear. Before do you do you that every single day. morning? Uh, yeah, pretty much. When I can get on it, but for right the on. most part, it's I'd like to start doing daily. You know? What's your website or your uh, your Facebook page rather? Uh, Mike's Musical Morning Show. I like how it's a Facebook mixture page. of it's a mixture of you doing something like in your bathrobe, and then there's other videos. Of you at a venue. Yeah. Like so I'll you're kind of getting, yeah. there's a different feel to all the videos, because I've been following you for a little while oh, now. Thank you. So, hey, get on there and leave a review, too. Even if you've never seen Mike live, you've seen him You've seen him in here. So leave him a good review, too. Yeah. And uh, if you'd like to, if you're local in the area, I've actually got a show coming up in May on the 11th at Cure in Unionville. Mm -hmm. I'll be playing from 8 to 11. It's a Friday night. So they have great food. If you've never been there, I would definitely suggest coming out. And what a better night to come out than when I'm there. And you also said that you've got a um, another local, uh, well, semi-local, every single Friday night. What are you doing every yes, Friday? Yes, I'm uh, doing a karaoke DJ at the Brass House in Waterbury. And that's from 9.30 to close, which is usually around, you know, Last call, 12.30, 12.45. And then um, kitchen's open, though, 24 hours if you come out there. It's a pretty cool little spot, so if you want to come check it out, I'll be there this Friday night. Right on. And you can come say hi. Sing some karaoke. That's right. Get all uh, uh, drunk. Sing with me. <laughs> get all drunk and do some karaoke. Everyone sounds good at karaoke when they're drinking, That's right? That's right. Do you remember um, Paul Thomas Krish coming into your show? He said he did a song for me. Last week, Neil Young. Yeah, I did. Yeah, he, he's actually been following me since the last time that I was on your show. Um, he's been following me on Facebook and pretty supported, uh, supportive too. Um, Paul so loves. I definitely thank him for that. And yeah. he, he wanted to hear Old Man. So I threw up Old Man. I went out and did uh, an acoustic night at the Pine Loft in Berlin. He's a big fan of uh, Screaming Eagle Band as well, which we've had in with uh, Johnny Neal from Almond Brothers. Nice. And uh, he's a big fan of the Night Show Live. And so thank you, Paul Krish. I'm glad. He's also a fan of medical, uh, Connecticut medical marijuana critic um, Brian C., which, by the way, uh, I just want to read you a uh, some news. Boop, 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 This is news, so we boop, boop, could do it. Boop, 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 boop. Um, Connecticut Legislative Committee passes recre recreational marijuana bill. Look at that, Connecticut. For the first time in the Connecticut legislature, a recreational marijuana bill has made it out of a committee and is headed to the full General Assembly for consideration. The uh, Appropriations Committee voted 27 to 24. Yay, Appropriations wow. Committee. Ooh. Excellent. 27 to 24 Thursday uh, today to approve a bill to legalize marijuana. 
Yay. The, le- the legislation calls for developing a plan for the legalization and regulation of cannabis, and it also seeks to provide substance abuse treatment, prevention, education, and awareness programs. So it's not, um, it's not for sure yet. It's made it out of the committee and is headed to the full yep. general assembly. Not a green light yet, but so, it's... Uh, uh, we're a little bit closer. Thank you to... That's the closest we've ever been. That is the right closest there. we've ever been. Yep. So thank you, Meg Stone, for the boop 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 There it is. Thanks. So um, please check out Mike's uh, webpage yes, and, and, and his morning uh, broadcast. Also check out uh, Connecticut Medical Marijuana Critic, my good friend Brian C. He does a, uh, um, a thing every... Uh, morning as well. So after you've gotten your morning breakfast songs on, uh, you can go uh, check out Brian. He does a lot of uh, trivia now. And you should start doing a hair show. Every morning you should do A tutorial? Like, no, yeah. Every morning you should just, when you do your hair. Yeah, but I do it the same way every time. So people are just going to see me doing the hair the same way I every think that time. It, I think that it would sell. At this you point, think so? I think it's... I don't know where that endorsement from Crew Hair Products is. Crew hair product. I know you were working on it. What happened? Crew. What happened? I don't know. What happened? I don't know. Maybe my hair's maybe Jim's hair is not good enough for crew. Dude, I think it is. You think so? Mm-hmm. Look, both of you have amazing, amazing hair. Look yeah. at that. I need a haircut. <laughs> but you have a great beard. Oh, is that that's that makes everything that better? Makes up, yeah, yeah. You got to get the beard oil. Yeah. You ever do the beard oil? Soften it up a little bit? No, 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 no. no. I use uh, no. You gotta you just moisturize. You just condition. No, you got to get the beard and, oil. Um, you know what? Once I start buying products for my goatee, I think that's when it really. You know what I mean? Like I don't need products. No. I don't. No. Need, no. no. Sorry. Extra Sorry. expense. Yeah. I already grow it for free. Yeah. Right. So, um, what's your third tune for us today? Uh, I don't know. You wanted to hear some Bob Dylan, you said? I don't know. Well, what, what did you have <laughs> planned? I don't want to throw you off. Last time I was just like, so, can you play uh, Pearl Jam? What can you play? Can you play this? Everyone was doing that, actually. No, I'll just throw a quick one in. All right. Yeah. Because you asked. So, this is uh, I Want You. Guilty undertaker sighs, lone smoking grinder cries. Silver saxophones say I should refuse you. Craig bears washed out horns, blowing to my face with scorns. It's not that way I wasn't born to lose you. Want you? Want you? Yes, I want you so bad. Honey, I want you. Drunken politician leaps on the street where mothers weep. The saviors who are fast asleep, they wait for you. I wait for them to interrupt, drinking from my broken cup. Ask me to open up the gates for you. I want you, I want you, yes I want you so bad. Honey, I want you. I just, uh, especially Bob Dylan, you can have a lot of fun with. Yeah, right. Dude, you, so you got Bowie down, you got um, Neil Young down, you got Bob 
Dylan down. What else do you got? What else do you got in your bag of tricks? What else do you have down? There we go. There's good. I mean, that's on everybody on here. It's really good. <laughs> this is a little Dean Martin. Sweet, sweet memories you're giving me. You can't beat the memories you give. Take one fresh and tender kiss. And one stolen night of bliss. One girl, one boy. Some grief, some joy, memories are made of thee. Don't forget a small moonbeam, hold it lightly with a dream. Your lips and mine, two sips of wine, memories are made of thee. Then at the wedding bell, one house where lovers dwell, three little kids. For the flavor Stir carefully through the day See how the flavor stays These are the dreams You will savor With his blessing from above Serve it generously with love One man, one wife, one love Through life memories are made of these Memories are made yeah, that's good. You didn't, he didn't do Dean Martin the last no, time. No, he, he did not. That's man. nuts. That's crazy. That's 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 unbelievable. That was really really awesome. good, man. Thank a lot of people, uh, a lot of people have a lot of uh, great comments. Wow, he you. nails all these voices, says uh, Stephen Edward. Jones. That one definitely got people's attention. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, good job, man. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So um, you got Dean Martin, Neil Young, Bob Dylan. Uh, David Bowie. Uh, let's close out with one more. What do you got for us? Do, I feel like uh, I'm putting you on the spot. Do a Tom Petty. I'm surprised you don't have a Rick Ocasek. What's that? Um, oh, from the Cars, What's right? That? <laughs> What's that? What's that? Rick Ocasek from the Cars. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't really do his voice, but. <laughs> do you ever see? Uh, I don't know if you ever heard. Uh, was uh, Jimmy Fallon with Kevin Bacon doing Tom Petty? No, no. And it, it was like the free fall in, like pre rehearsals before the song was like released, like in the still like writing stages. It's just, <laughs> was it, it was good. <laughs> it's worth looking up. Yeah, definitely. It's called uh, Free Horses. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely really funny. Cool. But uh, yeah, let's. My guest, Mike Leonard, musician, and uh, long we've been friends now for uh, probably, I don't know, how long have you known Stephanie? Uh, over 10, at least 10 years so, now yeah, I've known about, you. About 10 years. I just made myself feel really, really old. <laughs> hey, also too, head over to Facebook, Mike's Musical Morning Show. You could check it out, leave a review, like the page. Um, 
some good stuff on there. That would be great. Yeah, lovely. All right, here we go. Eddie waited till he finished high school He went to Hollywood, got a tattoo He met a girl out there with a tattoo too The future was wide open They moved into a place they both could afford He found a nightclub he could work at the door She had a guitar and she taught him some chords The sky was the limit Into the green wide open Under the skies of blue Out in the green wide open A rebel without a clue The paper said it always played from the heart He got an agent, a roadie named Bart They made a record and it went in the charts The sky was the limit His leather jacket had chains that would jingle They both met movie stars, partied and mingled Their A.R. man said that I don't hear a single The future was wide open Into the green wide open Under the skies of blue Out in the green wide open A rebel without a clue Awesome. Thank you very much, awesome stuff. Mike Leonard. You can uh, see him. Where can you check him out? You got the uh, the info. It's, there, uh, Mike's Musical Morning Show on Facebook. Go there, like him, leave a review. Thanks great. for coming out to the night show live. My guest this evening, musician Mike Leonard. Thank you for coming Thank back you. once again. Our very uh, second guest that we ever had on the show. This is our new time, 5 o'clock. Thanks for joining us. The Night Show Live has been moved from 8 p.m. to 5 p.m. weekdays. Thanks to everyone that came out. Thanks to my illustrious producer, Jim Lauber III. Smooches! Uh -huh. We'll see everyone back here tomorrow. Matthew James is going to be uh, in studio, as well as some special surprises. Have a good one.